Hi, my name is Mark Tacna. Welcome to my channel, The Media Nerd. Hooray! Today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean an old audio reel-to-reel -reel player. Oh, pretty now, please! Why would you want to learn how to clean an old audio reel-to-reel -reel player? You don't see that every day. You come across one in your attic, or you come across some old audio reels, and it has family recordings on it. So you go to the thrift store, you go someplace, and you find one of these machines. Ooh. They've been sitting around for a long time, but you know that it works, hypothetically. And the tape runs across metal and through sensors underneath here. And it also hits this rubber gasket right here, and it gets taken up on the take-up reel. So to get a nice proper play, you're going to want to clean these parts. I'm going to show you how to do it. Oh, yeah. This particular model is a Kia GX220. Ooh. And I have it on its side. It's designed to be on its side, or it could be upright. The first thing I want to do is take this off. Oh, nice. So you can see the sensors, and it's easier to clean this way. And it's also really easier to run the tape through with that off. It's good to keep it on to keep the dust off when you're not using it. So here's a bunch of little sensors through here and rubber gasket. You could use rubbing alcohol, but I really don't recommend rubbing alcohol because of the rubber gasket. It's gonna dry that out. <laughs> if you've seen my last videos, how to clean a VHS tape or how to clean a uh, VCR, I used these two chemicals, the THC2. It's an audio video printer and uh, tape head cleaner. And this is a cleaner for rubber. It's a rejuvenator. It puts moisture back into the rubber. First thing I'm going to do is just use a Q-tip. Uh -huh. Very simple. There's a lot of areas that it hits, the tape hits. So you're gonna wanna clean that. It runs through this on the inside and get that a clean. Very nice. And here are the sensors. Well, that was pretty dirty. Shilly boy! It's also gonna hit this metal here. And right through here. All of this can get dirty when you're running tape. The rubber gasket, give it a shake first. Get a Q-tip. This gets really dirty and this will bind after a while. So you just wanna spin it. You can see how dirty it's, it is. And I just cleaned it a week ago. All right. Now give it a second to dry. So this is the path of the tape. Goes across this rod, runs underneath, hits these sensors, goes through the rubber, underneath, the take up reel. There's a slot right, it's tricky. Now we can hit start and play. So that is it. That is how you clean an old audio reel-to-reel -reel for proper play. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications. And while you're at it, share this video with a friend or two. I would greatly appreciate it. You have yourself a wonderful day.